Hi, this is Brittany from PrettyHandyGirl.com. Today I'm going to show you how I built this garden shed. The shed I ordered is called the Cambridge and I ordered it from Lowe's. They actually deliver it to you um, in a giant box and it's all pieces that you have to put together. The shed took me about 10 days to build and I usually had at least one helper helping me. I've never built a shed before, but I do have average DIY skills. After the floor joists were built, we went ahead and checked to make sure that the flooring was square before we added the plywood. After building the first roof truss, we created a template by attaching some blocks to the flooring so that we could make sure that each truss was built exactly the same. Next we started building the walls following the instructions that came with the shed. The majority of this shed can be built with just one person, but when it comes to lifting the walls, it's really important to have a second person to help you lift and steady the wall while you're bracing it. After erecting the wall, we went ahead and added some bracing, but before I attached the bottom of the bracing, I made sure that the wall was perfectly plumb. Then we secured the bottom of the wall to the flooring with screws. Rafter ties were nailed to the top of the walls and then I had a helper help me lift up the roof trusses and secure them. Then it was time to add the sheets of plywood to the roof of the shed. Definitely helps to have a helper at this part too. Although I followed the instructions to a T, I found that installing the doors was really difficult, um, especially installing the track after the roof was on, so I definitely recommend installing the track that holds the doors before you add the roof on. What you're seeing here is that I have to do a lot of adjustments to get the doors to slide open and close. Again, this honestly was the hardest part of the build.
The shingles I decided to use are called Woodland and the color is Cedarwood Abbey. They're made by Gaff and I really like how they look because they have a very cottagey feel to them. I ordered a cupola kit from Lowe's to add to the shed because I knew that it would make it look really cute. Um, I thought I was being smart by assembling the cupola and adding shingles to it while it was on the ground, but in hindsight it was actually really heavy to lift onto the roof so we had to get a neighbor to help us. Um, what I'm doing here is adding tar caulking to seal the cupola to the roof so that I don't have any leaks. The final step in building the shed was adding the ridge vents onto the shed. This is important because it will allow any of the hot air to really release out of the shed when it warms up. I ordered the windows for my shed as an additional accessory and I'm really glad I did because it adds so much light inside the shed and again it adds to that cuteness factor.